Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making apple crumble which is ridiculously easy um, but it's a it's October and at this time of year uh, we have a huge surplus of apples and it's, most people can get hold of windfall apples either from their own garden or a friend's garden or whatever and it seems such a shame to let them all go to waste. So I've got some, look at these giant beasties, this is a, a type of apple called Howgate Wonder absolutely huge and we've got some little purple spartans and uh, I'm actually going to throw in some pears and some quinces as well uh, just for a bit of variety but you can make crumble with just with apples or with pretty much any fruit you like if you've got any blackberries or raspberries in the freezer or whatever you can chuck those in anything goes really so um, first thing to do is simply um, peel and slice up the fruit so I shall get busy doing that Peelings all go to uh, guinea pigs and chickens, so you pick through them. There's some people carefully, oh, there's a call. Some people care. <laughs> what are you doing, camera person? <laughs> some people carefully put the apple in kind of neat layers and lines and whatever, as you can see. I don't bother, it really doesn't matter how it goes in, it's all going to cook down anyway. Uh, this is a quince uh, from a tree in the garden. These are related to apples and pears, they look pretty much like a, an apple, but they're much tougher, you can't eat them raw like you would an apple. Uh, they need a quick pre-cut before they go in the, in the crumble, but otherwise you treat them just like an apple or a pear, it just needs to be uh, skinned and chopped up. So the quince, I'm just going to soften up a tiny splash of water and then I'm just going to stick it in the microwave for a couple of minutes just until it's a bit soft because otherwise it can be a bit chewy. So, took the quince in. As I say, you don't need quince, this could all just be apples, but the quince do add a, add a little, kind of a slightly aromatic scent to them. Gorgeous. Okay. I haven't left too much room for the topping, but that's fine. This will squash down a bit. There we go. Now, to finish off the fruit, we're just going to put a little bit of cinnamon on top. Well, actually quite a lot of cinnamon on top, because I like cinnamon. No, yeah. always helps if you get a spoon. Fits. <laughs> Let's try again. Uh, this little scoop will do. So I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of cinnamon on. You don't need to put the cinnamon on, but I really like it. it goes so well with apple. There we go. Right, now we can put this to one side. Look at that, looks delish. Um, put it to one side and make the crumble topping. Crumble topping is very simple. Uh, there's just four ingredients and you need an equal amount of each of them. Let me show you. So we've got porridge oats, uh, organic porridge oats and organic uh, flour. Um, now I'm using 
uh, wholemeal spelt flour, but any flour will do. Really doesn't matter, but wholemeal is, is better for you. Doesn't need to be spelt, wheat is fine. And then I've got some brown sugar, soft brown sugar, but again, uh, it doesn't have to be soft brown sugar. You can use pretty much any type of sugar you fancy. And some nice organic butter chopped up into little pieces. So I've got 150 grams of each of these, but depending on what size crumble you're making, you can obviously easily scale it up or down. Uh, so to make the topping, you just chuck it all together. I told you it was easy. And then you mix it with your fingers. It's much better to do it with your fingers than with anything else. And you mush it through your fingers, squashing up the lumps of butter and mixing them in. This might look pretty unhealthy, but uh, I mean, obviously there's butter and sugar there, which is not particularly good for you. Um, but I think overall, the oats is healthy. The wholemeal flour is healthy. The fruit is really healthy. It could be worse, couldn't it? So my mom always used to say that if you, when this is finished, it should look like breadcrumbs. It doesn't look like breadcrumbs at the, yet, at the moment. There's still big lumps of butter, but you just keep going, mushing it through your fingers. Okay, see what I mean? Kind of looks like, it's a bit like breadcrumbs anyway. There you go, Whoa. beautiful stuff. Uh, so then you just sprinkle it on on top of the fruit. I didn't say how much fruit I used. Um, there's about 800 grams in there, but it really doesn't matter exactly how much fruit you use. It just depends how much you want and uh, how big your dish is. Lovely. Sticky old business, but we're nearly there. Mm, look at that thing of beauty. Okay, now it just needs to go in the oven for about 40 or 50 minutes until it's, you'll see it's be bubbling around the edges where the apples have all gone soft and the juice has come out of them. And it'll be starting to, to brown on top. It'll be delicious. So the oven goes on at about 180. Doesn't really matter. Jobs are good un. Action. <laughs> Go. Whew. Should be ready. Right, the moment of truth. Piping hot, if nothing else. Here it's sizzling. Oh, serve that up beautifully as I always do. <laughs> It'll taste fantastic. Just get a little bit more. Oh, smells good. Lovely cinnamony, appley goodness. You can serve this up with cream or slightly lumpy custard as I'm doing here or ice cream or whatever you fancy but I do really love custard I have to say right then 
just need the perfect mouthful with a bit of apple and a bit of crumble topping and a bit of custard. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I promise it really is good.